What caused the steamboat geyser to erupt 30 feet into the air? Not since the days of Mark Twain has there been anything like what people witnessed in the steamboat area south of Reno this month. A geyser that shot 30 feet of hot water into the air. The natural phenomenon has drawn curiosity seekers and scientists alike, hoping to catch a glimpse of the most spectacular geyser activity reported in the area since the 1800s. I've never been to Yellowstone. But to me, this is like a second time, said Rachel McCander, a geologic information specialist at the Nevada Bureau of Mines and Geology. In the 1800s, Steamboat was estimated to be the third largest geyser field in the United States. For much of the 20th century, that activity was mostly underground, until recently, when mineral-rich water began seeping through the surface once again. But in early June, the geyser reappeared, spewing water from an abandoned geothermal well. The geyser has now receded, but the area is still geothermally active, with several small pots bubbling nearby. Geologists are actively studying the area, visiting frequently to observe, take water and rock samples, and monitor temperatures with probes. Carrie Lindsay, a research geologist at the Nevada Bureau of Mines and Geology, said he wants to find the answer to the million dollar question, what causes the geyser to appear? It could be a number of things. The water table in South Reno is changing as the area transitions from agriculture to housing. It could have been a little micro earthquake and it could have shaken one of those fluid channels. There's geothermal production in the area. We're not ruling that out, but we're not really considering it as the primary cause. We're just keeping all our options open. While what caused the geyser to erupt is still an open question, what caused it to subside likely had something to do with Phil Busick, the landowner on which the geyser sits.
I have a neighbor here who has one in his backyard. He's a really smart guy. He helped us out, Busick said. We ran cold water through a garden hose from the building. We backed it up a few feet and ran it down a hole and let it run. And after a half hour to an hour, it calmed down. The Silver State is one of the most geothermally active areas in the US. It's well suited for such activity because it sits near two tectonic plates, which makes the Earth's crust relatively thin. Here in western Nevada, the crust is thin enough and the magma is close enough to the surface that it can heat up the groundwater as it goes deep into the Earth along these cracks. <laughs> 